You know, one of the hard things about having to have my fan on me and spending my working hours captioning, in the wintertime, my hands get so cold. So I'm going to go warm them up on my little poppy. My hands are so cold, so I'm going to pet your warm belly, okay? <laughs> are you having a good day? Yes. Miss Beanie, did you have a bath? Don't like being clean. Want to be dirty. Need to be a clean girl. You crazy. I have finished my work for the day, so it's time for dinner of leftover pizza from Sunday. And can you guess it? Yes, yes, it's Criminal Minds. Like I said, I am the same person. I do the same thing every day. Look at you just chilling in your blankie. <laughs> yeah. You are so cute. I brought you a piece of cheese that I dropped on the floor. Really? If you don't eat the cheese, I swear to God. Thank you. And it's all I have, just one piece of cheese for my very cute puppy who's resting under her blankie like the lazy little girl she is. Yes, you want those ear scratches, don't you? Yes, you do. When you have mac and cheese and hot dogs, but really just mac and cheese because the dog gets the hot dog. You just get your way around this house. It's a problem. You can eat the noodle. She said that can't eat the noodle. Eat the noodle. I don't really want the noodle. Eat the noodle! I don't want it. Eat the noodle. No. Give me a hot dog. I will eat the noodle when there's no more hot dog. Thank you. Eat the noodle. No. Eat the noodle. Here. No. Eat the noodle! No. <laughs> Eat it! No. Don't want it. <laughs> Don't want it, mother! Fine, I'll eat it! Ugh, ugh. Disgusting. Give me hot dog. Not another. Oh, the cheese. <laughs> I'll take the cheese, but I don't want the noodle. Mmm. <laughs> no. No, you can't eat around the noodle. I can eat around the noodle. <laughs> want to bet? I ate around the noodle. <laughs> oh, hello. Why are you acting like you literally can't eat it? I hate you. So today is probably going to be a new all-time low for Vlogmas in terms of length of the video and content because I was very much not inspired to pick up the camera today. But you know, I worked. I ate dinner while I watched Criminal Minds. I replied to y'all's comments because I'm trying not to get super behind even though I, I keep getting pretty behind. And I read Crush a lot. I've been on FaceTime with the group chat. Of course, John Paul's not here the one time. I show him. So just an average night. But I thought for this video I would tell y'all my reading plans or goals, whatever, for 2021. I saw this being talked about on Twitter and my head went, that's a good idea for Vlogmas. I am a little hesitant to make any goals for 2021, period, reading or otherwise. So I literally went into this. This was basically me being 25. I was like, 25 is going to be my year. It was not my year or anyone's year. Now I'm gonna be 26 in a couple weeks. Not even a couple weeks. It's almost, oh. My birthday's on the 19th, so it is coming up. I really don't like the fact that I'm turning 26. I think it's an ugly number, but it is what it is. Also, I've had a couple people ask me for my Amazon wish list, which is very sweet of you. Let me do the whole spiel of genuinely do not feel like you have to get me anything. The fact that y'all have been watching consistently for what, this is day eight now, is more than enough, but it is linked in my description. I don't know if I made a goals video reading wise for 2020. I don't think I did. But regardless, the goals that I did have like didn't happen because my whole reading game was just not it. I always set my Goodreads goal to 50 and I think I will hit that this year, which is great, even though it kind of hurts because the year prior I read like a hundred something books. So I would like to, you know, get to 75 maybe, but that's just a 
that would be nice. I'm setting my Goodreads goal to 50 as always. Now, talking specifically about content-wise in my reading. First of all, this was the most ridiculous year because I had no motivation to read, yet I had the desire for the first time ever to read classics, LOL. So I'm hoping that desire to want to read classics will stick around in 2021, but I'll have the motivation for reading and that they can meet in the middle and actually happen. That would be great. I also really, really want to read more thrillers because I claim that thriller is my favorite, not my favorite genre, but one of my favorite genres, but I don't think I've read a single thriller this whole year year what and like i still don't even know who i am when it comes to thrillers which sounds much deeper than it actually is but i kind of just pick up what people talk about i don't really know what i love in thrillers what i hate and i want to develop my my thriller taste also jillian flynn i am begging you to come out with a new book in 2021 but yeah i have a bunch of thrillers that i want to read i just have not read them and I would like to fix that. Another goal is to read all of the books or most of the books that came out in 2020 that I was really interested in but I just didn't get around to because again I wasn't in a big reading mood. I think I want to come up with a list of those books and maybe make that something I talk about in the future on Vlogmas. I just didn't have the mental energy <laughs> to compile said list tonight. But there's quite a few books that have come out that I want to read that people have talked about. A Song of Race and Ruin is one. That Jennifer L. Armentrout book that came out is another. There's just been some books this year that I'm like, oh, I really want to read that. And I never got to it. What else? I would like to start focusing on my physical TBR again. It's still pretty small, I would say, compared to a lot of what you see on booktube typically. Maybe one day I'll have a going through my physical TBR with you guys. If you're interested in that, let me know. But I was doing really good like a couple years ago at reading from my physical TBR. And then this year I just you didn't so now it's starting to grow a little more and it's fine i don't care about it growing but i would like to keep it relatively small i think it just feels better that way additionally i kind of want to request less e arcs because sometimes i'd be on net galley i just be like that sounds interesting let me request it because i'm like i probably won't get it and then i do so i want to save my arc requests to just like the books i'm most excited for and like would be reading right away anyway and then kind of in this realm it's this isn't really reading but this is just with my channel i would like to finally not necessarily get a schedule although if that works for me that'd be great but i would like to consistently upload on this channel because i haven't been consistent i mean i've been consistent for the last eight days Ugh. but i just have not been great at being consistent on this channel a lot of it i think is because when i do reading vlogs which i think you guys know is the most frequent video i do on my channel it's what i like doing the most and it's what you guys respond to the most i tend to have this thing where i'm like i have to finish the book i'm reading before i upload the vlog but i don't think you guys actually care if i do that or not so i think i want to just have more vlog elements of my life like little snippets like i am doing during vlogmas which you guys have literally said that you like along with my reading and just posting those more frequently and not getting hung up on whether i finished the book that i'm reading or not i also want to do more like fun tbrs like the secret tbr videos because those are some of my favorite to watch and i always come up with ideas but then i don't execute them so i i would like to actually execute them a schedule make it a plan and actually like read whatever said secret tbr is in a small amount of time because i have like a couple or maybe just one that were like i read the book and then like months go by and i still haven't continued with it and i'm like girl get it together let's see do i have anything else i think that's mostly it yeah read classics read my tbr read thrillers in addition to the reading i already like you know fantasy romance love those be consistent on this channel and just prioritize reading more in general because i think i'd be falling off the wagon sometimes that is going to be it for this vlogmas but again before we go let me get the advent calendar we are on day eight my friends and day eight is right here hopefully today's shape is something more 
recognizable than yesterday's. Oh, it looks like it's gonna be a bell. Actually, I think this is like, what is that? Like a tuba or a French horn or something? <laughs> Makes me think of the episode of SpongeBob where like they play in the band for like the Super Bowl. All right, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.